Radio Raheem with Roy Jones. Listen, man, obviously we got Andre Ward retiring here this week. Surprise everybody. Uh, Jim just gave me his thoughts. What was your thoughts when you heard it? And, and how do you feel that, that leaving now, where is his place in boxing history? I don't know where his place is in box, boxing history. is among the top, though, because he was very dominant in his time and not many things that people could do to him. So, I mean, he beat a lot of Watch people. Out. He beat a lot of people a lot of different ways. Uh, he showed a lot of versatility. And, um, you know, you got to love what he did. So I don't know where his place in history will actually be, but he was a great fighter, uh, one of the greatest champions ever to me, uh, pound for pound the best, and I thought he had a brilliant career. We, 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 what we saw with Triple G and Canelo just a week ago, which is the replay tonight, do you feel like, beyond what the decision was, that we had, that we saw something definitive, do you feel like we answered any questions about both of those fighters last Saturday? Uh, we answered a few questions, but we didn't answer the main question, which is, who is the best middleweight in the world today? That question didn't properly get answered last week, so we're hoping in the rematch it'll get answered. Why is the decision in boxing always so subjective? Do you feel like it's corruption or is it just th three judges seeing things honestly a different way? Sometimes it's corruption, sometimes it's three judges honestly seeing things different ways. Last week, three judges could have saw it different ways. Uh, Bernard Hopkins came out of the way and told me he thought Canelo won seven out of 12 rounds. So, I mean, come on. It, it, judges could have saw it different ways because one guy was boxing, one guy was fighting. The boxer actually turned into the fighter, and the fighter actually turned into the boxer. So they traded places, you understand me? With that being said, it's hard to pick who won because one judge might like a fighter better, one judge might like a boxer better. It's like me and you. You might like tall girls with big tits. I might like short girls with fat butts. <laughs> we don't know. But, I mean, you, you understand what I'm saying, though? So a, a beauty pageant can be judged different ways. Because if she got what you like, then you're going to say she's a 10. If she got what I like, then I'm going to say she's a 10. But both of them could be 10s in their own respect. So that's what happens in boxing. We just got to keep it real. I'm sorry to put it like that, but that's how it goes. You feel me? How do you see the rematch going? I don't know yet. I think it'll be a great rematch, though. I can't wait to see it. I'm not sure who's going to win it. But I, I, what I like to see is what trainer goes back and makes the most, most adjustments. All right. Thank you, brother. Radio Raheem with Roy Jones.